For decades, companies like Weight Watchers have been telling members they can lose weight by tracking how much they eat and adding more movement to their routines. If you're ready, Weight Watchers is ready for you. But these days, as reported in the Wall Street Journal, some weight loss companies are embracing new medications, too. Alongside with using Ozempic, I am also on Weight Watchers. Weight Watchers, which lost more than a million and a half members over the past two years, is now offering access to drugs like Wagovi, Saxenda and Contrave, with doctors' prescriptions from their telehealth company, Sequence. But the company's chief scientific officer says Weight Watchers' core message hasn't changed. Why should someone sign up for Weight Watchers if they can go ahead and get one of these prescriptions and lose weight with just the medicine? Because there's no medication, no pill, nor injection that will teach you healthy eating habits or increased patterns of physical activity. Behavior change is not less important. It's just as important as it always was. On social media, many say they're doing both, counting points and taking medication. I am down 10 pounds today. I'm so excited. So, um, but I'm also doing, I just started uh, last week, I started Weight Watchers. So I'm combining that. While weight loss drugs may be appropriate for some, doctors say there's no substitute for thorough in-person consultations. So there are certain things you need to physically see, touch, measure on a patient that you can't do in a telehealth visit. Yes, there are certain components of the physical exam which we may not be able to do if it's via a telemedicine platform. For example, checking a patient's thyroid and taking body measurements, not just looking at weight. Is this the appropriate diagnosis for them? Are they living with overweight or obesity? Two would be, you know, what is their history? Have they been on medications before? Have they had a surgery? People considering weight loss drugs should first consult with their doctor to determine which type of medication is right for them, whether insurance can help cover the costs, and how to maintain a healthy diet while losing weight. Ultimately, experts say there's no single silver bullet when it comes to obesity, which is a chronic and complex condition requiring a comprehensive approach. Mm -hmm. Vicki, you know, Weight Watchers is so much about their brand, and this is, seems to be off-brand in a way. Are they getting any backlash for this? Well, it's interesting. You know, people will always have thoughts and opinions on everything, and some people are like, this is a shortcut. I did it the hard way. I counted the points. Mm -hmm. I did the exercising. Weight Watchers says, look, think of this as another tool in the toolkit, a 360 approach to how we lose weight. These drugs can help jumpstart, help you get some new habits. And I think the chief scientist uh, officer there put it well and said, look, no pill, no injection is going to teach you how to eat healthy or add movement to your day. This isn't a replacement for what you should be learning. It's just an additive. Seems like the goal should be to be on, if you're going to be on Ozempic, and then to get off of it, like your big plan, because that seems not sustainable to be on that forever and ever. That was my question, Hoda. Like, yeah. how can you do this long term? But, you know, we talked to an endocrinologist who is a weight loss specialist as well, and she said, look, you have to start thinking of obesity as this condition that you treat long term, like diabetes or anything else. For some people, it does make sense to be on a medication oh long-term to help them. They say so far the research shows it's safe and effective, but ultimately if you can use food as medicine, mm -hmm. everyone agrees that's the Well, and doing way. it hand-in-hand hand with developing some better habits, exactly. you know, that actually makes some sense yeah. long-term mm -hmm. as well. All right, Vic, thank, thank you. Thank you, Vicki. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or click the link right here.